Witnesses describe a prepared team who walked confidently into this restaurant to assassinate a Turkish diplomat. Osman Kosa was sitting inside with his bodyguard. Witnesses say then two men pulled up to the valet in this upscale Erbil neighborhood. They told the attendant they would be only a minute. They walked inside and one man with a gun in each hand began shooting Kosa. Two Iraqi Kurdish customers were shot and killed as they tried to hide. Witnesses say the diplomat's bodyguard took cover and shot back. One of the attackers was hit in the leg, leaving a trail of blood as they escaped. There haven't been any arrests or any claim of responsibility. However, there has been a denial of involvement. Hours after the shootings, a spokesman with the military wing of the PKK or Kurdistan Workers Party said the group was not responsible. Suspicion immediately fell on the PKK, a Kurdish armed group deemed a terrorist organization by Turkey and the United States. Turkey has been carrying out counterterrorism operations against the group in northern Iraq. But political analyst Radwan Badini says it's too simplistic to blame the PKK in a complicated region involving various groups with competing agendas. There is a huge number of people interested in sabotaging the relationship between Turkey and the Kurdistan regional government. On both sides, Turks and Kurds, I believe this operation is to benefit these people and create problems for the KRG due to the substantial economic ties with Turkey. Kosa's body was flown back to Turkey and a funeral was held for him in Ankara on Thursday. He leaves behind two children. And at the moment, many questions regarding who killed him and why. Natasha Ganem, Al Jazeera, Erbil.